Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative. What one thing can you say about your local quality co-op store? You can trust us. You get what you need for your farm, for your lawn and garden, and the safest products for your pets. We're locally owned and operated, and you can trust that we care about our community and the people in it. So if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, the Quality Co-op Store has exactly what you need to get the job done. All this plus friendly, knowledgeable advice. Your Quality Co-op Store. There's one near you. What sustains us? Food? Family? Faith? Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. Welcome to Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. In both our personal and professional lives, technology is constantly advancing. Today, we'll ask a farmer about the importance of data and technology when it comes to feeding the world. The women of leather and lace are a force, and not just on the open road. These ladies are dedicated to making dreams come true for deserving children. Today, we'll learn more about the Sisterhood of Riders and their impressive charitable work. And I'm Stacy Little. Today in the kitchen, we're making an old school favorite, cornflake cookies. Stay tuned. It's often said that eyes are the windows to a person's soul, but for historic buildings, it's the windows themselves that shed light into the structure spirit. The folks who work at Old House Specialists in Montgomery know a thing or two, or maybe a thousand, about what it takes to restore old construction to all its former glory. And just across the Alabama River in Prattville, they're taking on the tall task of restoring the windows and other iconic features of the Pratt Gin Company complex. The city of Prattville, it's known as the Fountain City thanks to the numerous artesian wells around town. But arguably, its most well-known feature is the imposing Pratt Gin Company complex. Started in the 1830s along Otaga Creek by Daniel Pratt, it's the reason the city exists. The factory produced cotton gins as late as 2009. The current restoration has been a long time coming since the property first went up for sale in 2011. At one point, it was the largest manufacturing facility in the world. And we are currently restoring the main five buildings and we're taking them and making them into uh, apartments. One of the biggest parts of the project, restoring window, after window, after window. The majority of the buildings have old wooden windows. Their frames have to be stripped of paint, sanded, and primed. This wood will last for as long as the building stands. And that's the beauty of restoring instead of replacing. A replacement window is not made to last. The old windows, as you can tell, these have been around since 1800s. And they're still here, they're still good. And that's why we like you know, the effort that it takes to make it look good and restore it back to its original glory. The youngest of the five buildings has metal windows. Those require a slightly different restoration process than the wood. But the team at Old House Specialists has everything they need on site in their shop, including all those windows. The historic glass has the wavy look to it, and that is very unique because it was handcrafted. We'll take it out, clean it, and restore it, then put it back into the windows. The views through those pristine, massive windows will leave even the Prattville mayor jealous of future tenants, whether they get to take in the charms along Otaga Creek or admire the craftsmanship of the complex's cupola. That's another project that's been tackled by Old House Specialists and Casey, who is a Montgomery native and a second generation builder. My father had me out on a job site when I was six or seven years old. An old building seems to be the niche that I found myself enjoying the most. It's amazing to see how they did it back then with limited tools, limited knowledge, but they were so good at what they did. So now it's a matter of restoring that and keeping it around for the next generation to see. 
Once finished, the complex will include over 120 apartments, each featuring the charm of exposed brick and historic beams, all made more beautiful in the light streaming through those carefully and cautiously restored windows. It is such a large and huge part of the community that everybody wants to see something good come of it. So the fact that now it's actually going on and beginning to look and take shape, everybody's excited about this. Old House Specialists is owned by Hilda Dent. She and KC have worked together on numerous preservation jobs. Their first project together was working on City Hall in downtown Montgomery. They also redid the facade of Sous La Terre, the city's iconic underground nightclub. They even worked on the A.G. Gaston Motel in downtown Birmingham. The ribbon cutting for the motel's restoration was just back in June. It was an important site for Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. during the Civil Rights Movement and definitely worth restoring. Coming up, the strength of their engines is nothing compared to the size of their hearts. We'll meet the ladies of Leather and Lace. An employer-provided life insurance plan is a great benefit, but if you lose this benefit when you retire, you may need to purchase a life insurance plan of your own. The right policy could potentially serve as another source of income or an additional emergency fund in retirement. Debt, life changes, and dependents play a factor in choosing the right plan for you. Visit alphainsurance.com to learn more. These Alpha Insights are proudly presented by Alpha Insurance. Alabama is a state filled with riches, like the juiciest peaches, a summer tomato sandwich, or grandma's pecan pie. But perhaps our greatest treasures are the hands that grow. From generations past through the years to come, Alabama fruit and vegetable growers produce an abundance we all enjoy. Alabama produce. It just tastes better. No matter the herd you tend to, or the type of seeds you sow, Farm Bureau Bank understands the lifestyle and financial needs of our neighbors. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. Whether it's personal or business, we are committed to serving you and your financial needs. Please give us a call and we'll get started today. Support healthy food from local farmers by purchasing a Farming Feeds Alabama license plate. The TAG funds education and promotion efforts, including Ag in the Classroom, Agricultural Scholarships, and Youth Programs. Get your Ag Tag today. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes on to the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. Wear long pants, long sleeve shirts, and closed toed shoes. Don't be ticked. Use repellents with 20% DEET on skin and 0.5% permethrin on gear and clothing. Don't be ticked. Avoid sitting on rotten logs or stumps. Don't be ticked. Protect yourself from serious tick-borne illnesses and seek timely treatment to prevent long-term problems. No hunters were angered in the making of this film.